This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers Discussion, the Sunday of the Labor Day long weekend edition. And I'm excited to discuss a few things that we got on the table for an early Sunday morning as we get set up for what is, well, going to be at some point a very exciting month of hockey for the Edmonton Oilers. Obviously, training camp, rookie camp, and ticked in a Young Stars Classic, all that stuff. Opens up at some point this month, but uh, we're still waiting for the Oilers to go out there and start making some news this month. We are now three days in, about eight hours into day number three of the month, and the Oilers have yet to put out anything really groundbreaking when it comes to news on this Labor Day long weekend. But with that, I want to turn over to our graphics we've got loaded up for today. And the first thing we're talking about is Sam Gagne again, because Mentioned in the Nine Things article from Mr. Kurt Levins today, he uh, assumes that it is, or he thinks, whatever you want to say, that it is a 50-50 shot that Sam Gagne makes it. So the reason I have the brief history graphic back up is he was drafted sixth overall, played 402 games in seven years, recorded eight points back in 2012. That's been made a lot of over the past few weeks. Returned to oil country in 2019, played 61 games plus a couple in Bakersfield, and then has signed a PTO with the Edmonton Oilers to bolster competition at camp. Obviously, that's goal number one, but as Kurt Levins mentioned in his Nine Things article this morning, is if there's an injury, Sam Gagne's chances shoot from 50-50 to almost 100%. And that's the beautiful thing here for Sam Gagne is that brief history could we yet again add another bullet point. So that's Sam Gagne, friends. But as we get going here, there is a little bit of stuff going on behind the scenes in oil country that I don't know how many people are paying attention to. And that is the moves in both radio and options for Oilers fans and Edmonton sports fans across the airwaves and on social media, and of course, podcast platforms. So of the major players in the Edmonton sports scene, this is the big move from 6.30 Chad this year. Bob Stoffer moves from his noon to two slot to prime time. Of course, he'll be before Oilers games here this fall, this winter, this spring, this playoffs. And then of course, Inside Sports with Reed Wilkins has been cut from two hours to one hour that's the big move out of them this uh, fall, and obviously that's a big change. I know uh, Bob Stoffer absolutely dominated his spot for pretty much 31 of the past, or 39 of the past 40 weeks or something was mentioned in the uh, Nine Things article this week. So it's pretty crazy to think that they're going to give up absolute dominance on the airwaves to try and cut it in prime time. But, of course, you know what? You want to hit people when they're home. You want to hit people on their drive home. Whatever the case might be, it might actually work out very well for Bob Stoffer and 630 Chad. Plus, the Edmonton Oilers, remember, they have a vested interest in this as well. Now, there's Edmonton Sports Talk, which you may have seen crop up over social media the past few weeks here. That's Dustin Nielsen and the gang that's uh, been together on TSN 1260 in the mornings for a long time. Um, obviously, he's looking to capitalize on losing TSN 1260, taking it digital, and uh, basically, as you see this little tagline I put together for them, keeping it fun and keeping it community-oriented. That's a big thing for them. And when it comes to community-oriented, I'm not talking about necessarily, uh, well, not talking about like, oh, hey, we're going to be doing this in the community. No, I'm, I'm more talking about the community of sports fans within what they had growing on uh, the TSN 1260 morning shows. So that's where I'm looking to see kind of how they capitalize on a very large platform to discuss uh, sports in Edmonton and turn it into a digital business that could, uh, well, reshape kind of what you, me, and everybody here already on YouTube do over the course of the fall. Then there is, of course, one more situation going on, which we've covered several times here since TSN 1260 is closed. And that would be our friends now, uh, Gregor and Low Tide, of course, two Oilers insiders as well, going out there and teaming up with Oilers Nation plus Stingray Radio to essentially deliver a new AM sports station in Edmonton, right? TSN 1260 no more, 
So they are going to keep sports radio competition alive. And that's basically the best way I can paraphrase that for you right now. Because at current, until they get some ratings in, until they get some stuff done, who really knows what that's going to look like against Bob Stoffer and Reed Wilkins on 630 Chad. Friends, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, this afternoon, whenever you're stopping by. If you are new to the channel, let me find my graphic. If you'd be so kind to consider hitting that subscribe button here on Dolan TV, that would be greatly appreciated. And if all's good and dandy, I'm going to head out of here and we will catch you a little later today. Thanks for tuning in. I'm up on gone.